The Nutri Ninja 2-in-1 can make one pound of dough in 30 seconds or less. It has the power to create rustic pizza doughs, scrumptious cookie dough, even delicate crepe batter. It's so easy to customize or tailor to individual preferences. I'll show you how to make pizza dough with nutritious seeds such as pumpkin, flaxseed, and sesame seeds. You can make an easy and healthy homemade pizza entirely in the 2-in-1 by using the 40-ounce bowl to chop veggies, grind meat, and make dough, and the 16-ounce cup for blending pizza sauce. Let's start with the most important detail, choosing the right dough blade for the type of dough you want to make. Your 2-in-1 comes with two dough blades, the single dough blade, which only has one tier of blades, and the double dough blade, which has two tiers. You should use the double dough blade only for cookie dough, and the single dough blade for all other doughs. So let's get baking. Insert the single dough blade on the metal pin in your processor bowl. Add the flour, in this case half white, half wheat. Then add the salt, the seeds, and the olive oil. as well as our yeast mixture. This mixture is made up of yeast, sugar, and warm water that we combined in a bowl and allowed to set for about five minutes until foamy, which is how you know the yeast are alive. Secure the geared lid to the bowl, and then the pod on top of the lid. We're gonna blend for 30 seconds or less until the dough comes together and starts to form a ball. We recommend you never use more than two cups of flour in the processor bowl, as this is the perfect amount for one pound of dough. More than that, and the resulting dough may overfill the bowl. So if you're using your own recipe, scale it down to two cups of flour. So we remove our dough. and we'll continue to knead the dough until the dough is smooth and elastic. And then we'll place it in an oiled bowl with saran wrap on top and let the dough rise. If you find that the ingredients look dry and are not forming a ball, add half a tablespoon of water at a time until the dough comes together. If the ingredients look wet in the bowl and are not forming a ball, add half a tablespoon of flour at a time until the dough comes together. Humidity and freshness of flour and ingredients plays a big role in how wet or dry dough turns out. Find this and other dough and batter recipes in your inspiration guide.